Welcome, dear listeners, to another exciting episode of our podcast, Mysteries of the Map. I'm your host, and I'm thrilled to have you join us on this journey today. In this episode, we're going to embark on a fascinating journey, a voyage through time and space, as we explore some of the world's most intriguing geographical locations. We'll delve into the myths and mysteries that surround these places, some of which exist only in legends and old sailors' tales, while others are real locations that hold secrets and stories that are just as captivating. From the mythical island of High Brazil, a place that has been the subject of both travelers' records and ancient Irish legends, to the volcanic island of Surtsey, located on the southern coast of Iceland, we're going to uncover stories that will leave you in awe. We'll also venture into the North Sea to discover the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, a place that safeguards over 250 million crop seeds, and we'll visit Snake Island, a place so dangerous that access is prohibited by Brazilian authorities. We'll explore the Philippines with its more than 7,100 islands, discuss the tallest mountain on our planet from base to peak, Mauna Kea, and talk about the three countries that are completely landlocked by other countries. Our journey will take us to the Sargasso Sea, the only sea without any land boundary and we'll visit cities that rest on two continents. We'll also uncover the secret behind the heart-shaped reef in the Great Barrier Reef in Australia and discuss the concept of phantom settlements or paper towns on maps. So buckle up, dear listeners, as we set sail on this journey of discovery. Let's unravel the mysteries of the map together. Stay tuned. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to embark on a journey shrouded in mystery, a voyage that transcends the boundaries of time and space. We're going to explore the enigmatic island of High Brazil. This isn't just a place, it's a legend, a myth, a whisper in the annals of history that has intrigued explorers and dreamers for centuries. High Brazil, a name that echoes through the ages, a place that has been noted in both traveler's records and ancient Irish legends. It's an Irish version of Atlantis, a place that exists on the edge of reality and fantasy. The island takes its most famous name from Brazil an important figure from Celtic folklore, and its existence has been speculated on maps dating back to 1325. Imagine, if you will, an island that has been placed west of Ireland by one cartographer, while subsequent sailing charts have shown it more specifically southwest of Galway Bay. The mystery deepens as we delve into the accounts of those who claim to have set foot on this elusive island. Two explorers, two separate voyages, two identical descriptions of High Brazil, which they dubbed the Promised Land. They walked its shores, trying to find where it ended, but they never did. They were walking in circles, trapped in the enigma that is High Brazil. One of the most famous visits to High Brazil was in 1674 by an Irish captain named John Nisbet. He and his crew found themselves near the island after a sudden fog lifted. They spent a whole day there and even returned with silver and gold given to them by an old man who they claimed lived there. These tales, these accounts, they ignite a flame of curiosity within us. They make us question the very nature of reality. Was High Brazil real, or was it a figment of collective imagination, a place that existed only in the minds of those who dared to dream and explore? As we delve into the mystery of High Brazil, we're not just exploring a place, we're exploring the human spirit, the relentless pursuit of knowledge, and the undying fascination with the unknown. So, dear listeners, as we set sail towards High Brazil, let's remember that sometimes the journey is just as important as the destination. In the realm of geographical wonders, few places are as intriguing as the volcanic island of Surtsey. Nestled on the southern coast of Iceland, Surtsey is a testament to the raw, unbridled power of nature. It's a place that didn't exist until 1963, born out of a volcanic eruption that painted a new dot on the world's map. Surtsey is not just an island, it's a living laboratory. It's a place where scientists have the rare opportunity to observe the interaction between animals and plants without human intervention. It's a place where life unfolds in its most primal form, untouched and unspoiled by human hands. But Surtsey is not a place for everyone. It's a place reserved for the eyes of scientists, a place where no ordinary person has ever set foot, it's a place shrouded in mystery and intrigue, a place that holds secrets only time can reveal. As we explore the story of Surtsey, we're reminded of the ever-changing nature of our planet. We're reminded of the power of nature to create and destroy, 
to give birth to new lands and to reclaim them. We're reminded of the delicate balance that exists between all living things and the environment they inhabit. Surtsey is more than just an island. It's a symbol of life's resilience and adaptability. It's a testament to the enduring power of nature and a reminder of our responsibility to respect and protect it. In the icy expanse of the North Sea, on the Norwegian island of Spitsbergen, lies a place of profound importance to our planet's future, the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. This isn't just a vault, it's a lifeline, a beacon of hope, a safeguard against the uncertainties of the future. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault is home to over 250 million crop seeds, a collection that represents the incredible diversity of life on our planet. These seeds are more than just potential plants. They're the genetic legacy of countless generations of farmers and gardeners, the result of thousands of years of cultivation, selection, and care. But the vault is more than just a repository. It's a fortress, a stronghold designed to protect these precious seeds against any calamity. It's a place built to withstand natural disasters, wars, and even the ravages of time itself. It's a place that holds the keys to our food security, a place that could one day help us recover from a global crisis. The seeds stored in the vault come from almost every country in the world, a testament to our shared heritage and our shared responsibility to protect it. They represent the past, present, and future of agriculture, a treasure trove of genetic diversity that could help us adapt to changing climates, resist new diseases, and feed a growing population. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault is a symbol of foresight and cooperation, a testament to our ability to plan for the future and work together to protect our shared resources. It's a place that reminds us of the importance of biodiversity and the need to safeguard it for future generations. In the realm of forbidden places, few are as chilling as Snake Island. Situated near the city of Sao Paulo in Brazil, this island is not a place for the faint-hearted. It's a place that teems with danger at every turn, a place that is home to over 4,000 snakes. Snake Island is not just an island. It's a fortress of the reptilian kind. It's a place where some of the most venomous reptiles on Earth reside. Some of these snakes are so poisonous that a small drop of their venom can permanently damage human skin. But Snake Island is more than just a home for snakes. It's a place that is strictly off limits to humans. The Brazilian authorities have prohibited access to the island, a testament to the extreme danger it poses. It's a place that exists on the edge of the known world, a place that is as fascinating as it is terrifying. As we delve into the story of Snake Island, we're reminded of the incredible diversity of life on our planet. We're reminded of the power and beauty of nature, even in its most dangerous forms. We're reminded of the delicate balance that exists between humans and the natural world, a balance that must be respected and preserved. Among the world's most isolated and enigmatic places is North Sentinel Island. This remote island is not just a piece of land in the vast ocean, it's a place that time forgot, a place that is home to the world's most isolated tribe. North Sentinel Island is a place shrouded in mystery and intrigue. The population living there is estimated to be between 50 to 400 people. They live in complete isolation, with no form of contact with the outside world. It's a place that has resisted the march of civilization, a place that remains untouched by modernity. But North Sentinel Island is not just a place of isolation, it's a place of danger. No person that has tried to reach the Sentinelese people has survived. This tribe has shown a fierce resistance to outsiders, a testament to their desire to protect their way of life. The island is monitored by local authorities, not to control the tribe, but to protect them. It's believed that the tribe's people don't have any immunity from modern diseases, so contact with outsiders could be fatal for them. It's a place that reminds us of the importance of respecting other cultures and their right to live as they choose. In the heart of Southeast Asia, amidst the azure waters of the Pacific Ocean, lies a nation of unparalleled beauty and diversity, the Philippines. This archipelagic country is not just a collection of islands. It's a vibrant tapestry of cultures, languages, and ecosystems, a place where nature and history intertwine in fascinating ways. The Philippines is home to more than 7,100 islands, a testament to the country's incredible geographical diversity. Each island is a world unto itself, 
with its own unique landscapes, ecosystems, and cultures. From the bustling metropolis of Luzon, the largest island stretching over more than 42,450 square miles, to the pristine beaches and crystal clear waters of the smaller islands, the Philippines offers a kaleidoscope of experiences for the intrepid explorer. But the Philippines is more than just a collection of islands. It's a place of constant change and growth. In 2017 alone, 500 new islands were added to the map of Asia, a testament to the dynamic nature of the country's geography. As we explore the Philippines and its islands, we're reminded of the incredible diversity of our planet. We're reminded of the power of nature to shape landscapes and create new ones. We're reminded of the resilience and adaptability of cultures and the beauty that arises from this diversity. And the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, rising majestically from the depths, stands Mauna Kea. This towering giant is not just a mountain, it's a testament to the awe-inspiring power of nature, a monument to the incredible diversity of our planet's landscapes. Mauna Kea is known as the world's tallest mountain, but not in the way you might think. While Mount Everest holds the title for the highest peak above sea level, Mauna Kea surpasses it when measured from base to peak. Its base, hidden beneath the Pacific Ocean, combined with its visible peak, reaches a total height of 32,808 feet, dwarfing Everest's 29,032 feet. But Mauna Kea is more than just a towering giant. It's a place of scientific exploration and discovery. Its summit, free from the light pollution of cities, hosts some of the world's most advanced astronomical observatories. It's a place where scientists gaze into the cosmos, seeking answers to the universe's greatest mysteries. As we explore the story of Mauna Kea, we're reminded of the incredible diversity of our planet's landscapes. We're reminded of the power of nature to create awe-inspiring sights and the human spirit's drive to explore and understand these wonders. In the vast tapestry of nations that make up our world, there are a few unique entities that stand out due to their geographical peculiarities. Among them are the three countries that are completely landlocked by other countries, Lesotho, San Marino, and Vatican City. Lesotho, a high-altitude country encased within the borders of South Africa, is a place of rugged beauty. It's a nation where the sky meets the mountains, where the Basotho people have carved out a life amidst the peaks and valleys. San Marino, one of the world's smallest countries, is nestled within the Italian peninsula. Despite its size, it's a place of rich history and culture, a testament to the resilience and spirit of its people. Vatican City, the smallest internationally recognized independent state in the world by both area and population, is completely surrounded by Rome, Italy. It's a place of immense religious significance, the spiritual home for millions of Catholics worldwide. These landlocked countries, each with their unique characteristics and challenges, remind us of the incredible diversity of our world. They're a testament to the adaptability and resilience of nations a reminder of the fascinating ways in which geography shapes history, culture, and life. In the vast expanse of the Atlantic Ocean, there exists a sea unlike any other, the Sargasso Sea. This sea is not defined by land boundaries, but by ocean currents, a unique characteristic that sets it apart from all other seas on our planet. The Sargasso Sea, named for the sargassum seaweed that floats en masse on its surface, is a place of mystery and intrigue. It's a sea within a sea, a place where the waters are distinctive for their deep blue color and exceptional clarity. But the Sargasso Sea is more than just a body of water. It's a vital ecosystem, a place teeming with life. The floating Sargassum seaweed provides a home for a diverse array of marine species, from tiny organisms to large fish, creating a complex and vibrant ecosystem in the middle of the ocean. The Sargasso Sea also holds a place in folklore and legend. It was feared by early sailors who, upon encountering the dense mats of Sargassum seaweed, feared their ships would be forever trapped. These tales added to the sea's mystique, painting it as a place of danger and mystery. As we delve into the story of the Sargasso Sea, we're reminded of the incredible diversity and complexity of our planet's ecosystems. We're reminded of the power of nature to create unique and fascinating environments and the importance of preserving these places for future generations. In the grand tapestry of human civilization, 
there exist a few unique cities that straddle not just cultures and histories, but continents as well. These cities, Istanbul, Suez, and Panama City, are geographical wonders that serve as bridges between different worlds. Istanbul, the city that straddles Europe and Asia, is a place where East meets West, where the modern and the ancient coexist. It's a city that has been the capital of three different empires, Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman, each leaving its indelible mark on the city's culture, architecture, and spirit. Suez, a city in Egypt, is a gateway between Africa and Asia. It's a city that is intrinsically linked to the Suez Canal, one of the world's most important maritime passages. The city and the canal together serve as a bridge between the Mediterranean and the Red Sea, connecting different cultures and economies. Panama City, the capital of Panama, is a city that links North and South America. It's a city that owes much of its significance to the Panama Canal, a marvel of engineering that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The city serves as a vital hub for international trade and commerce. These cities, each straddling two continents, are a testament to the incredible diversity and interconnectedness of our world. They're a reminder of the fascinating ways in which geography shapes culture, history, and life. In the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, off the northeastern coast of Australia, lies a natural wonder of unparalleled beauty, the Great Barrier Reef. This isn't just a reef, it's the largest coral reef system on Earth, a vibrant underwater city teeming with life. The Great Barrier Reef is a place of incredible biodiversity, home to thousands of species of marine life. From the tiniest plankton to the largest whales, it's a place where life thrives in all its myriad forms. It's a place that captivates the imagination with its vibrant colors, its intricate structures, and its incredible array of life. But among the many wonders of the Great Barrier Reef, there's one that stands out, a heart-shaped reef. This naturally formed heart visible from the air, has become a symbol of the reef's beauty and fragility. It's a reminder of the love and care that we must show towards our planet and its incredible natural wonders. The Great Barrier Reef is more than just a natural wonder. It's a vital ecosystem, a place that plays a crucial role in the health of our planet. It's a place that reminds us of the beauty of nature and the importance of conservation. In the intricate world of cartography, there exists a curious phenomenon known as phantom settlements, or paper towns. These are places that appear on maps but don't exist in the real world. They are not mistakes or errors, but deliberate creations, a fascinating aspect of map making that blurs the line between reality and fiction. Phantom settlements are often created by cartographers as a form of copyright trap. By including a fake town or street on their map, they can prove if their work has been copied without permission. If the phantom settlement appears on someone else's map, it's clear evidence of plagiarism. But these phantom settlements are more than just copyright traps. They're a testament to the artistry and creativity of map making. They're a reminder that maps are not just tools for navigation, but works of art, products of human creativity and imagination. As we explore the concept of phantom settlements, we're reminded of the fascinating interplay between reality and fiction. We're reminded of the creativity and ingenuity that goes into creating maps and the importance of respecting intellectual property. As we draw our journey to a close, we reflect on the incredible voyage we've undertaken. We've traversed the globe, delving into the mysteries of the map, exploring places that challenge our understanding of the world and inspire our imagination. From the mythical island of High Brazil to the volcanic island of Surtsey, from the Svalbard Global Seed Vault to the Forbidden Snake Island, we've journeyed through places that exist on the edge of reality and fantasy. We've explored the Philippines with its more than 7,100 islands, discussed the tallest mountain on our planet from base to peak, Mauna Kea, and talked about the three countries that are completely landlocked by other countries. We've sailed through the Sargasso Sea, the only sea without any land boundary, and visited cities that rest on two continents. We've uncovered the secret behind the heart-shaped reef in the Great Barrier Reef in Australia and discussed the concept of phantom settlements or paper towns on maps. Each of these places, each of these stories, has taught us something valuable. They've reminded us of the incredible diversity of our planet, the power of nature, and the resilience of human cultures. 
They've shown us the importance of exploration and discovery, of respect and conservation, of creativity and ingenuity. As we conclude this episode, let's carry these lessons with us. Let's remember the mysteries of the map and the spirit of exploration that they inspire. And as we look forward to our next journey, let's remember that the world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. Until then, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep marveling at the mysteries of our incredible world. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.